Companies like Uber and Lyft are not possible without optimization. When you go into Amazon and you type a couple words, show me screwdriver sets, and you see answers, that's an optimization happening. At Princeton Consultants, everywhere we look, we see problems, we see decisions that, that people should be using Grow before, and they're unaware of it. So one of the things that we're trying to do for our clients is say, this isn't something niche to manage the cleaning supplies with. Why don't you point this at your biggest spends and see whether you can get really good leverage. We did the 2020 census, and we saved $2.8 billion of federal spending. That's a pretty big win. All Groby has wanted to do is build better and better and better solver engines. Every time they do something, we think, okay, this is about as fast as it's gonna get, and they just make it faster and faster. Increasingly, consumers want that. They want faster response times. They want consistency in their, in their responses. They wanna be able to scale. They want to reduce costs. They wanna have improved asset utilization. And optimization is the technology that brings that. Groby has done a fantastic job improving the usability of the product not just the mechanics on the inside to make it the fastest and best engine, but also how it's broadly applicable up and down the stack. You know, if you are a Python Pandas programmer, we've got you covered. If you're a .NET developer, we've got you covered. If you're Excel, we can talk to that. I think that's one of the real hallmarks of Garobi. All of us that use Garobi and use optimization in general believe we have the real stuff. It really works. It puts a rigor into decision making and gives the businesses more of what they want. If you have a, a killer application that needs Groby, I think you can really trust them to be a great partner.